Hey everybody, I'm here today with a DIY video on installing wiring staples. This right here is an example of a wiring staple. As you can see, it's pointy on this side right here, and then it has these tabs on both sides to just make sure that you know, you know when to stop hammering it in place. And this over here is a piece of electrical wiring that I will be using for this video. Um, it's not uh, attached to anything, it's just some old wiring that I had laying around, and I wanted to use it for this demonstration. In addition to these two things, I'm going to be using a very simple hammer. Okay, so I'm just going to go around to this side and tell you exactly how to install these wiring staples. So let's say that you have the electrical wire on against the stud and you want to keep it in place. That's the purpose of these staples, to keep it in place from moving anywhere or shifting or anything like that. It's just to hold it in place. So you're going to get the staple and you're going to place it around the wire, okay? I'll do this a little bit lower so that it's on camera a bit more. You're going to place it around the wire. One end of the staple is going to go on the left side of the wire, the other end of the staple is going to go on the right side of the wire. Very simple. Don't pierce it through the wire. You want to go around the wire on the outside of the wire, okay? When you get it in place, you're just going to hold it in place just like that. You're going to take your hammer and you're going to hammer it in place just lightly. You just want to get it in place just a little bit, okay? Just enough to hold it in place like that. As you can see, the wire can still move freely, but the staple is being held in place. Now you're going to take your hammer and you're going to hammer it down just like that into place, just like that. Now those tabs on the side of the staple will prevent you from over hammering it too far down into the wood. But use your judgment. If you're using thicker wire and you see that you're pressing down against the wire, that's not a good idea. Hammer it enough so that it's just touching the wire like this, so it holds it in place, but you know, it's not like squishing the wire or anything like that, or compromising any of the wire's integrity. That's basically it, it's a very simple process and and it's really simple and if you want to hold any wiring in place using a wiring staple just like this I have shown you exactly how to do it in this video and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching